Iron what's going on? What's up, Anthony? Happy Saturday night. Oh, same to you. Uh, you didn't have a Wednesday show, so I actually had to talk to friends and family. So, <laughs> you no, know, you owe me. <laughs> um, want to say first, uh, I started writing for another YouTube network called the Hard News Network. Um, I sent you an article about it, and basically, what I discussed there is how this current scandal, where which is why we're all calling for releasing the memo it has already compromised the reputation of the FBI permanently because if you think about it this is an agency that for decades has uh, d done similar things but not at a senior of a level and you've, you've had other intelligence agencies at the federal level like the CIA and the NSA that have already done such things. That's why there was a committee headed by Senator Frank Church, who was a Democrat from Idaho back in the 70s that exposed civilian sur domestic surveillance by the NSA and the CIA in the 70s. And it was exposed and, and people just didn't care because back then, uh, I, first of all, there was no internet. Um, you know, if people cared, uh, a lot of times they were already labeled as uh, radical crackpots of you know the left or the right and uh, second of all because I think people were trying to uh, heal the, the nation after Watergate which itself was kind of uh, a soft coup perpetrated against uh, Nixon because he didn't go along with the uh, FBI and CIA um, policies and uh, you know promoting the people that they wanted to promote so they got rid of him and people people pretty much went along with the program. So if you're thinking, you know, the FBI, you know, it's like some people, they always preface their criticism and they try to say, you know, um, the FBI is full of like really nice people and they, they're, they're by and large people who have integrity and they're, they're good people. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, that might be true, but it's, it's unimportant. Because when you have a group of senior people like that, that they compromise the uh, integrity of the agency and use it in order to uh, get into all these Byzantine plots and, and uh, you know, Game of Thrones stuff, then down the line, imagine, imagine, let's say, President Trump or any other president actually does commit a crime. Uh, then you have to ask, is there a federal agency impartial enough and with, uh, you know, the correct professionalism to actually prosecute them? I, I don't know if you can anymore. Mm. Uh, you might have to th think about, you might have to get like somebody like the U.S. Marshal Service, which doesn't do investigations. They usually do, I think, uh, you know, prison transportation and things like that and hunting down fugitives. You might have to get a, a, one of the other federal agencies to investigate things like this uh, and I'm talking specifically with Trump but but down the line how, how can you really know uh, that these agencies are are uh, have integrity restored I don't I mean it's, it would also be wrong if if let's say Donald Trump staffs the entire agency with people loyal to him well I'd, I'm not comfortable with that either I think that's also a problem for different reasons mm -hmm. so you know that that's kind of what I was talking about in my first article for that for that uh, network, the Hard News Network, which um you know they do they do a YouTube stream. They're actually doing one now, but I'm on your stream because you have more fun people. <laughs> um, so, but I'll go check them out later. Um, I, I did also want to mention um, I, I do a lot of uh, you know content relating to Latin America, and I think Latin America is one of you know, they, they could be our best friends. Um, I think, you know, Donald Trump probably has a better chance of improving relations with Latin America than uh, President Obama or Hillary Clinton did. Uh, and, and, you know, I think that they did try. I mean, I'll be fair, but um, the New York Times ran a piece last week where they claimed that Brazilian democracy was in crisis because they convicted their former president for taking this. bribes and money laundering and a host of other crimes. And they, they just basically 
claim that all the evidence is wrong and the judicial system is corrupt there and that there is nothing that they can pin to uh, Lula, who was the president, in his name. And I went and looked up who the ed- ed- the you know the author of this piece was. His name was uh, Mark Mark Weisbrot, who is a, an apologist for what country? Venezuela. Uh. So Venezuela, a country where they, they just called snap presidential elections, and they imprison people all the time. And there's now, by the way, I did a video this week. I did another interview on my Testigo Venezuela series, and I did another video about the. Um, illegal mining that they're committing there. The government's basically taking money. The socialist government is taking bribe money so that people can illegally mine all sorts of minerals and destroy the environment there. I bet you that, um, you know, the the TYT and all the progressive networks don't talk about, you know, illegal strip mining in the socialist paradise of Venezuela, which is conducted by human slaves. Wow. You know, they they have prostitutes that they force to work there. Uh, young men and women are forced to mine there, and th- that's that's what ultimately we would be doing if we had socialist policies in this country. Because eventually the socialists have to put money on the table too. And how do they get their money? Bribes. So, you know, I'm I know I'm kind of on the soapbox here, but um, I, I think that Americans. We shouldn't look at these Latin American people coming here as, as you know, degenerates and evil people. I think we, we have to recognize we did have a role in some of the problems that happened in Latin America. Uh, I, I'm not trying to say that America should have, you know, we were complicit in a coup in Chile in the 1970s. I think there, there's problems with that. But the solution isn't to let all of those people into the United States. You know, we we also screwed up the Congo. We're not talking about bringing all the people from the Congo here. The the solution is to um, have good trade relations with those countries and and support people that are interested in, you know, putting those countries back on their feet, just just like we should support um, leaders here that are interested in in getting their communities off of the federal dole. You know, just like we don't support uh, you know, leaders like Cory Booker, who continue to waste the money of Newark and New Jersey. We shouldn't support leaders in Latin America like uh, Maduro that basically spend all of the money that their oil industry brings in and then declare bankruptcy and create a fake cryptocurrency. Um, I did want to ask you, did you hear about that Nutella story in uh, France where people are going nuts for... Uh-huh. Did you see any of those, those videos? There's like riots for Nutella. I, I did see that because it was like a deep, deep sell on Nutella, but it, it caused like a riot, like a Black Friday type riot in France. That was crazy. So, so anytime anybody calls us uncivilized, you know, beasts <laughs> in America, uh, well, that's that's what the French do. I mean, we, well, I guess we do have Black Friday. Um, yeah, but I, I never seen Nutella be like this, the, the main item that people went crazy over on the Black Friday sale. You know, you're talking about TVs and game consoles, but hey, I guess the hazelnut spread, as I've been told that it is, has is so delicious you can't pass it up when it's on sale. It is pretty good, but you know, the, then then how are they? I mean, they call us fatter than them. They they claim that we're like we have the worst diet, and and apparently they eat it every day. And uh, you know, I, th- I think it's kind of. Um, you know, Fran- like like uh, Trump said, France isn't France anymore, uh, or or was it Paris? He said Paris isn't Paris anymore. Um, yeah, I, th- I think that. You know, Anthony, I have one last question. All right. With all of the garbage going on in Europe now, it's like I, I personally always wanted to go to Italy. I never cared about France, but with all this this garbage and these people like ruining the continent and, and migrants and whatever, and and you know Angela Merkel's sour Miss Piggy face. What, where, where is your preferred um, tourism destination? Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a great question. You know where I want to go. I want, I want to go to Japan. Yeah, that's a great idea. But they have, um, I think their hotel rooms are, are much smaller than what we were used to in the States, I heard. Uh, and that's, that's fine. You know, that's, you know I don't, it don't have to be like this big giant hotel because really, I don't want to spend that much time in the telly anyway. I want to go around and, and see the sites. You know, I definitely want to go to Tokyo. Maybe even go to like uh, Okinawa, and just just go around the whole the whole country. But definitely Tokyo, 
I, I, that that right there would be an experience. But I'm not going to go to somewhere like Greece. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, but if I, if I go to Greece, I need to get bulletproof vest, helmet, and pistol. I think I think there's a project I'd like to work on, and and uh, you know, be kind of like a. Do you know how they have a Lonely Planet? Those uh, tour books. You yeah. could make like a, a non s hole guide to the world. Yeah. We just highlight places that are, you know, they're not, you know, god awful and, and, you know, run down. Right. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, let's not be racist. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, anyway, uh, I'm enjoying your show. Um, have a good night. Uh, there's, um, uh, by the way, I was an SVG stream last week. So he, he's looking for like some more ideas. I, I pitched to him to collaborate with some people maybe have you ever thought about collaborating with him on like a stream or something um i've been on a stream with him before but i may i may do it again okay because he was he was talking to us like i'm in his patron stream and okay yeah you know. okay um anyway have a good night and uh i'll be in the chat for a few minutes too all right thank you for the call man definitely appreciate it take it easy all right same to you